Hey everyone, Alex Gordon here from Evolution Arms, uh, bringing to you today the latest creation. Um, I know I said I've been posting, I was uh, going to post a video for a while, and uh, I'm just finally now getting around to it. This is the Anakin Attack of the Clones uh, prototype for the run. Uh, the grips are Delrin, just because it's the prototype. I'm still waiting for the rubber ones to come in. Um, I guess I'll just get right to it. The chassis is not the final chassis. Um, there's a few reasons for that, but I can't get into all of them just quite yet. Um, they're good things. They're all good things. I just can't talk about them. Um, well, right now this is running a Crystal Focus 8, and I'll try to do this one-handed. You unscrew the pommel. To reveal the chassis. Now this can't unscrew at the grip like the Hero does because of this milled slot. There's just no way to fit everything in a narrow enough diameter to make that slot still be deep enough. So it's actually wider down here and it's narrower up here. So you have to slide the chassis out a little bit to access the recharge port right there. And on this one, you have to pull it out all the way in order to uh, lift the crystal focus and get to the SD card. You won't have to do that on the final one, I don't believe. Um, certain things are changing and it will uh, make it easier for all of us. So um, again, this is just the prototype, which is why so some of the things are a little bit different. Uh, it's got a 22 millimeter speaker in there. Obviously, I couldn't fit a giant 28 millimeter. That would be bigger than the whole entire pommel. Screw the pommel back on. Um, activation switch is the second bubble right here. The aux switch is the plunger right here. Retention screw is this brass greebly. Um, right now, that wire loop is hand bent. And it looks good, it's the shape that I want it to be. Uh, whether the final one is hand bent or not uh, remains to be seen. It all depends uh, if I get any uh, responses back from these CNC wire bending places. So I'll go ahead and fire it up. Uh, there's uh, two batteries, uh, two 17500s, one down here and one up here. And yeah, that's it for the specs. <laughs> Running a Tri Cree uh, blue, blue, white. The aux switch is a really, really satisfying uh, thing to hit. It's a little bit difficult for me with these gloves on. They're they're slipping before they're they're pressing, but. bubbles are nice and even. The control box is entirely held on with screws, uh, so there's not going to be any panels that are magnetized or glued or snapped on or whatever that could go flying off. Um, obviously I've got the blinking LEDs right here, one red and one green. Those are the accurate LED bezels. It was very difficult to source those, but I did. And obviously my design uh, works very well because they fit perfectly. It's hard to get them in a good shot that shows them nice and centered in there, but uh, anyway. I think that's really all there is to show. Uh, you know, there's the, the sound venting solution that I came up with. Uh, accurate pommels are available as an option. Uh, the cover text will be engraved. Since this is the prototype and it was for someone specific, they requested uh, my initials before uh, the, uh, the rest of the engraving. The actual ones, I believe, will be EVO, Annie, and then the number. It's very, very slender. Um, actually, I do have a couple of hilts to compare. Just give me a second. So here's a few different hilts. Uh, this is a Parks V1 Graflex uh, Vader's Vault Revan, the Anakin 
and a Hero. The Hero looks kind of big, but it is longer than a Graflex, and it is slimmer than a Graflex, as it should be, except for the, the pommel and the emitter flange. But this, this is one of the smallest Canon Sabres. Uh, the Sidious is smaller, the Yoda is smaller. I don't think I've held an accurate mace, so I'm not sure where that one fits. Um, but it's, it's very, very slender. It's uh, an inch and a quarter at the main outer diameters. Obviously the grips and the, the clamp band and the shroud add to that, but it's only 10 and a half inches long overall. So it's very, very tiny. It's very, very comfortable to wield, actually. Uh, there's not really any sharp spots on the control boxes like they're... Uh, I've had a couple of complaints about the Hero, but if the control boxes are rounded on the Hero the same way they are on the Anakin. Um, you know, like, if maybe if you jam your knuckle at full dueling speed, it'll, it'll uh, hurt a little bit. But, like, I can't, like, jab my finger on there and cut myself or slide it back and forth and cut myself. I'd have to really, really whack it as hard as I could. So, yeah, um, there she is in all of her glory. And uh, thanks everybody for watching.